Senator Bato de la Rosa insisted that he has no worries about the International Criminal Court or ICC despite admitting that Duterte's earlier statements were incriminating. Meanwhile, the House Quad Committee vowed to not let Duterte control their hearing if he decides to accept their invitation. Here's a report. Former Senator Antonio Terrellanes has sent the transcript of the Senate and the House Quad Committee hearings on the war on drugs to the International Criminal Court. He said the transcript includes former President Rodrigo Duterte's admission that he has a death squad in Davao City when he was the mayor. Meron akong death squad, pero hindi yung mga polis. Sila rin yung mga gangster. Duterte's ally, Senator Bato de la Rosa, who was also present in the Senate hearing, admitted that his former boss's statements were incriminating. Pwedeng magamit yan against him. Lalong-lalo na, under oath siya, di ba? Nagsalita siya doon. Depende na sa kanya, how is he going to defend himself? Still, Bato claimed that he is not scared of the ICC. Wala na yung worry-worry na yan. Basta the fact remains that they don't have jurisdiction over the Philippines. He again insisted that Duterte was just joking about the death squad. I know 100% nung sinabi niya na yung mga chip, chip of police ko dyan dati, yung chip in pin na yan, nandyan sa kanan ko, mga membro o mga leader yan ng, uh, ng uh, DDS, alam ko nagbibiro siya. Meanwhile, the House Quad Committee is still opening its doors to Duterte. In an interview with StoryCon, House Quad Com co-chair Benny Abante said they will not allow the former president to take control of the hearing if he attends. He also said that they will not allow the former president to cuss during the hearing. Every time we, we would make a cuss word, it has to be to make a motion to strike it on the record. Sa akin lang, eh, mm. when I would, when, pag ako nakainindak na yes, ng, ng PI na ganyan, eh, eh, magsasalita ako tungkol dyan. Ah, hindi ako tatahimik. Joke, joke, joke. Oh. Joke, joke, tak ng joke. <laughs> si Klaus Jan Amario at ah. si Mina Benales ay uh, hindi nagugustuhan yung mga nangyari dun sa Senate hearing. <laughs> Hinaijak daw ni former President Duterte ang Senate hearing. Oh. Well, mukhang magiging iba ang approach ng Congress but uh, mukhang hindi naman pupunta ay ata si PRRD sa Yan Congress. Yan hindi eh. natin din alam. Sa lower house. Oh. Kasi nga diba nung interview natin dito si Representative Abante, I ask him kung why do you think mas inuna niya yun doon, diba? Hmm. Kasi may allies Kasi daw. Kasi may allies. Tsaka comfort zone yun eh. Tingnan mo nangyari, diba? Siya nga yung parang... Uh, nag uh, ano nagpe-preside ng hearing and there was a point there na si Senator Bato de la Rosa yung sumasagot na ng no po sir hindi po sir Mr. President at saka yung po. doon ako na nagtaka kasi nakikita ko si former President Duterte during the entire hearing na wait 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 ako na naman magtatanong nagtatanong siya sa mga ibang witnesses din <laughs> para ako ito gusto ko matanong ini-interview niya yung mga tao di ba there was one point si ano Grihalo ano yung Colonel, oh, na yung Grijaldo yung, yung bumaliktad, mm -hmm. ini-interview niya. Kung sino yung hindi classmate daw, kung oh. ay yung ano, congressman na nagpupilit sa'yo, mga things like Pero that. Pero sinabi ni ano, former Senator Trillanes, ano, yung script daw during the hearing ng Senate, dito nga sa War on Drugs uh, ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte, ay has already been submitted sa ICC. Yeah, sabi oh, sa niya, yun ang uh, sinabi ni uh, Senator Trillanes. Oh, kasi it's a matter of public record. Oh.